E-bikes were once heavy, bulky and ungainly things, but technology has progressed an awful lot since then. You don't really need to look any further than these two bikes to see that e-bikes have come an awfully long way in a short amount of time, with this e Silex Plus 600 and this e Sculptura 400 having a profile that's barely any different to an unassisted bike and an impressively low weight that would be unimaginable for an e-bike not that long ago. Despite sharing the same frame and using the same Amala drive system, check out the video up here to find out a bit more about that. These are actually two very different bikes with very different characters. This e Sculptura 400 is our e-road bike and it sits on conventional 700c wheels with fast rolling slick tyres that are 32mm wide. Then you can go up to a 45mm tyre if you prefer. That means that it's most at home on sealed surfaces that will still be able to deal with relatively smooth and gentle off-road tracks. It's best to think of this bike as being for 90% road riding and 10% off-road, whereas the e-Silex gravel bike would be the other way around. To suit the highest speeds you're likely to achieve on the road, we fitted Shimano's 11-speed 105 group set, which has an 11-32 tooth cassette at the rear, paired to twin chain rings up front something the Marla drive system allows that's fairly unique when it comes to e-bikes. This means that you've got lots of tightly packed ratios that are ideal for keeping a good cadence, yet still provide a wide range of gearing for climbing or descending. On the other hand, the e Silex Plus 600 is designed for the rigours of gravel riding, so there's a wide range Shimano GRX group set that has a single front chainring paired to a wide ratio 11 to 42 tooth 11 speed cassette at the rear. That means you can quickly change to a different gear to suit the short, sharp undulations and steep climbs that you find in gravel riding. Of course, fully slick tyres aren't great off-road, so this bike has smaller diameter 650B wheels that are then fitted with high volume 47mm wide tyres. The fatter tyres provide greater puncture resistance and also improve comfort on rougher terrain, while there's also a much more aggressive tread pattern that's better on loose surfaces or in mud. To improve control, the e Silex is also fitted with a different handlebar that has a wider flare on the drops, while the e Sculptura's bar is a more traditional road shape and actually has a flattened profile on the top. Both bikes do use powerful hydraulic disc brakes that have the cables neatly rooted from the bar into the frame using a specially designed wire port headset and some neat interlocking spaces that keep everything tidy. Another small nod to the adventure-ready character of the e Silex is that the front fork actually has cage mounts on it, so you can add extra water bottles or an accessory cargo cage to carry luggage. While those are the obvious differences covered, the Marla Smart Bike Systems X35 drive unit is also specifically tuned to suit what each bike will be used for. While the hub-mounted motor that delivers 40 Nm of torque and the inbuilt 250 watt hour battery are the same, our engineers have actually adjusted the assistance response in each. To make it easier to get started in steep terrain and to give you an extra push over the obstacles, the assistance map for the e Silex has a stronger push at lower speed, but then becomes steady and consistent. On the other hand, the e Sculptura's assistance map increases steadily from the start and builds gently to deliver a smooth and natural feeling when you're riding. Of course, both bikes take advantage of the fact that the Marla hub drive system has very little additional drag over a non-assisted unit, which, along with a low overall bike weight, means that both bikes feel very similar to an unassisted bikes once you exceed the assistance speed limit. If you'd like to find out more about either of these bikes, then check out the link in the description below for the full information and also the rest of the range. We'll also put in a link to the page where you can find your national distributor who can help with pricing and availability in your country. You can also view our e-bike playlist up here which has details of all our assisted bikes. I'd suggest checking out our Marla Explainer video too which covers the details on the drive system on these two bikes and actually how to use it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel here for more video content and as ever thank you very much for watching I hope you found it useful. Goodbye!